Hello. Today we're going to take a quick look at how folders in Scrivener work. In Scrivener, folders are more than just containers such as you might find in the OS Finder. Folders in Scrivener are really special text files. They don't only hold subdocuments, they can also contain text themselves. Let's click on a folder. Note how the folder opens in the corkboard mode by default. We can see all of its subdocuments laid out as cards on the corkboard. As text items open in the editor mode by default, folders open in corkboard mode by default. Along with the difference in their icons, this is really the only difference between folders and text files. As such, we can deselect the corkboard mode in the toolbar like so, and now we can see the text that is associated with this folder. If I start typing away in the text area, note how the icon of the folder in the binder now has a small text icon in its corner. This indicates that this folder has text associated with it. It has nothing to do with whether or not it has subdocuments. If, with the folder selected in the binder, I now select Edit Scrivenings, you will see that the text of the folder appears as the first scrivening. Folders also have metadata associated with them. If I select this folder and open the inspector, you will see that I can edit its metadata. I can change its label, for instance. And if I select View, Tint Icons with Label Color, you will see the folder icon now takes on that color. And I can add a synopsis. Note that if a folder has a synopsis associated with it, but no text, an index card will appear in the corner of the icon to indicate this. Now, if at any time I decide that I would prefer my folder to be a regular text file, I can just select it and go to Documents, Convert, to File. Note how my folder now appears as a regular text file. Nothing has changed other than when I click on it, it will now open in text mode by default. When I come to compile my draft, I can treat text files and folders differently, so this distinction may come in useful there too. Conversely, I can also convert text files to folders. Here I have a regular text file. Suppose I've used it as a container though. We can drag any document into any other. And now I think I'd really rather it were a folder. I can just select it and go to Documents, Convert, to Folder. And now it acts as a folder. It opens in corkboard mode by default when I click on it. By the way, you can choose which mode folders open in by going to the navigation section of Preferences. You can set it so that folders open in the outliner mode by default instead of as a corkboard if you wish. Or they can open in Edit Scrivenings mode. That concludes our tutorial video on the flexibility of folders in Scrivener. Goodbye.